Folks, what is up and welcome to another episode of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. I'm your host, Zach, joined by our voice actor, Wes. Hey! And our actual lawyer, Bridge. Hey! Folks, if you want to watch us live, follow us on twitch.tv slash David Team. Although we are mostly streaming these on YouTube these days. Uh, and if you can, please support us on patreon.com slash save the team. We'd really appreciate it. You get a, a bunch of bonus content for following us there, donating money and whatnot. And uh, including the $10 level, you get your name included in this Patreon song. Thank them, thank them, gotta thank them all. Gotta thank them all, our Patreons. Burger Bun, Mr. Cola Bun, Eddie Cosmo, Cub, Dave Hall, Lucha, and Sofino. HSM, Earn Less, Crow Knight, Danny, Ant Lester, Kevin Nation, Shadow, Navi. Witch Tower, Sky, Herlock, Hyde, South Aria, Arky, Forensic, Fecknick, OJ, FJ, Mystic, Woody. Leprechaun, Jacob L, Go Go, Zeppeli, Sheber, Steen, Riger, Rila, Jolie, Baron Esper, BBC, What, and Sherlock's Mr. Mokosil, Art, Ami, Borshock. Numenia, super cool, Chrissy, Buff, Gushin, Mari, Diego, Garcia, Charlie, and Boomer, Emily. Mega Zero, Big Kerbo, who needs to sleep, Aleya, Yakta, Estever, Entropy, Daedric, and Serafina, Maho, Stars, The Driver, 458, Tasty Morabar, Jeff Warner, Mickey, QB, Nagashi, Anime Chick, The Jester, Haruka, Nagi, Dessert Boy Man, Elijah Sly, Rick Rant, Katja, Traveling in a Box, and Snowcat, Conjuring, Scribe, Zeal, Croissant, Fulfilla, Written Word, Shade the Punisher, Sevilla, Thank him, thank him, gotta thank him all, gotta thank him all, our Patreon. But uh, with that all out of the way, let's get back into the game. Also, yeah, Wes, very cute cat. <laughs> Alright, so we just spoke to Phoenix. I can't, what did he tell us? Go check out more shit. I believe. For now, let's head back to this place. Oh, hey, this chick. <clears throat> you, you're the woman from the Kotaki place. Really quick, because everyone keeps asking. This is Mitzi. Say hi, Mitzi. Mitzi. Yeah, she's really sweet. Adorable. She's been, she's been hanging out in my room, and I picked her up to just say hi, so she's going to go back to sleeping on the bed. Okay, honey. You got anything to say to anybody? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I knew it. Something's the matter and you want our help, right? Well, you've come to the right place. This way, please. Um, thank you. My name is Elite the Tiara. Mm. Hey, hey, mm. did you know that, did you know that Glenn Elg's name backwards is Fuck Glenn Elg? Fuck off, it, it, they're, oh. no, Wait. No, it's not. No, it's just a. It's, it's just close. an anagram. Oh, you're right. It is close. Um, what close, the fuck? But it's not exactly. What the fuck is this name? I think it's. I think she's a battle angel. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, she does have. She does have wings on her yeah, shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I have a request. All right, girl whose name isn't Clover, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so close, Zach. Yeah. Your request. Let me guess. Something's been stolen? Um, your flyer? It says, now defending, so I thought... What? You mean, you, you want me to defend you? Me? Yes, I've been challenged to trial by combat, and I need oh, someone to fight Oh, no, for shit. Me. That's, you want Phoenix for that. He can't die, apparently. 
Well, the opponent happens to be a car. Do you think oh, that'll be a problem? No, he's got this one in the bag. <laughs> it's it's like it happens it's... to be a bridge. You know what? Oh, he can also beat that. The opponent happens to be the common cold. Do you think he'd do okay with that? Oh, he eats colds for breakfast. <laughs> Maybe you can tell us what happened. <laughs> wow. Were you hit by a car? Did somebody did someone steal your stand or your panties? What is is she a JoJo character? No. No. I I'm not the client actually. The client would be my well my fiance, I suppose you'd call him. Fiance? What happened to him then? He was arrested this morning. The charge was murder. Murder? Apollo's like, oh, thank God. Something finally. good finally happened. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this day was going to suck, but wow, now it's getting good. <laughs> Have you heard about what happened at the park? So, what's your story? You frequent the Kataki Mansion, yes? Are you a member of their, um, organization? No, not yet. Not yet? So you yeah, wanna I be- I still have to- I still have to kill somebody in order to get in. <laughs> You see, I'm to be married next month to the boss's son. The boss's son? So is he a... a gangster? A Yakuza? Zero? With a capital G? Like a dragon? <laughs> Did he erase his own name? <laughs> <laughs> yes, but the Kitakis are locally responsible gangsters. Oh, what a fucking, so what like a fucking great term. Yeah. <laughs> they're locally responsible. They recycle. They're, they're locally sourced, farm fresh, <laughs> organic gangsters. Direct to table. They're, they're, they're free range. Uh -huh. They're free range gangsters. <laughs> I thought it'd be nice for a change. Quit my boring job. Live the good gangster life. The good gangs. <sighs> yeah. Don't we all want to live the good gangster life? Been spending most of our lives living in a gangster life. <laughs> I think you're on to something. Miss Kataki, I like the sound of that. I'm not sure your daddy would care much for that. All right, let's learn about this murder. What happened? been told all the details but I do know a body was found in the park near the Kitaki mansion there were a lot of police cars there apparently the victim was shot with a pistol but I hear the circumstances of the shooting were rather unusual and your fiance was arrested for this um, what sort of person is your fiancé? Oh, he's a killer. <laughs> the kind who would absolutely kill someone. Your fiancé is the Kataki family's only son, correct? His name's Waki. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it sucks so bad. Trust me, whatever you have to say, I've said before. <laughs> Waki Kitaki. <laughs> what a fucking loser! <laughs> Yo, I'm I, pulling the shit out of that dude! I brought yeah. a photo. Are you gonna tell me to look at it? Look at this dude! <laughs> we'll see him shortly, but this design, I was saying to Praise before the stream started, I love this character design. I have no idea about what kind of person he is, but his design is chef's kiss to me. I love his 
I love his like bearded, his goatee, sunglass, blue badger. It's shirt. incredible, Wes. Thank you yeah, for pointing it's out. Re- it's so good. It's, it's a really good shirt. It's so good. Uh huh. Well, that's quite the photo. I know. <laughs> Oh, he can be powerful and menacing, but so cute. But if he's the boss's only son... Yes, I'm sure he'll take his father's place someday. (laughs) Say, I'm a boss already of this agency. Wah, wah. (laughs) Please help my walkie. (laughs) <laughs> right. My first solo defense case. Crime boss's son or not, I'll prove he's innocent. Of, of this, at least. I hope. <laughs> I prepared a letter of request. I know you need those. Oh, okay. Thanks. Thanks, ma'am. I'll stick it right in my panties. God damn it. <laughs> Right, let's go check out the scene of the crime. All right, we got yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, now going back to the scene of the crime. Yeah, yeah. Oh, surely we won't meet an important character here. Yeah, I highly doubt it. So, this is it the first murder crime scene. Ah, it's you kids again. Look, can't you find some other place to play? We're not playing. We're, um, investigating. Aren't we, Apollo? Uh, Sir, I have a letter of request here. Letter of... Huh? Why does it say hit request on it? Miss Tiali must have used the Kotaki stationery. Excuse uh, me. Why would you ha- Why would you have stationery that says hit request on it? Because, they're, because how they're are they going to separate it from their electricity bills, Pridge? <laughs> That's not a good move. <laughs> they got to the, people got to know Oh, it's you, Mr. Gavin. Who's this guy? I must say I'm used to being inspected by the ladies. But this is the first time I've felt this way with a man. Like, again, I know that this line has been memed a million times over. But like video game, you can't tell me that you aren't doing queer coded bullshit if you have a line written like this in the video game. <laughs> Mr. Gavin? Oh god, I think I put your brother in jail forever. Ah, <laughs> oh, Fräulein. What is a sweet morsel like you doing in such a dismal place? Can I help? Uh, Yes? The policeman officer... The policeman officer fellow here won't let us in. (laughs) We even have a letter... We even even have a hit request to kill him. (laughs) I mean, we even have a letter of request. You must be exhausted standing out here. I will take you to the scene of the crime. Oh, really? By your leave, officer. Uh, Yeah, yes, sir. Of course, sir. (laughs) Very well. This way, Fräulein. Yeah. Whee! Pops on the motorcycle. Whee! You thought Teehee was good. Have you heard we? <laughs> <laughs> now it's just any two any letter followed by E E is Pridge's name. <laughs> hey, what about me? Just wait until 
truth to be or not look at to that. be. <laughs> hey, folks! Reminder: uh, This Saturday we'll be doing uh, the continuation of our Shakespeare reading. Oh the next boy! Oh God! People Park. People Park. Where's all the people? <laughs> On that note, enjoy your investigation. Thank you. Will we see you again? No. <laughs> Probably this, not. This is my only time in the game, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> I disappear after this and never come back. Ask the wind, Fräulein. I'll be riding on it. Okay, wind. Uh... <laughs> Who was that? Oh, yeah, we were right. <laughs> <laughs> Apollo, look, a uh, corpse. What? Hey, it's just a mannequin. Wow, it sure got me. Trucy, look at this fucking thing and tell me you think it looks like a corpse. Ahem, might I ask exactly what it is you are doing here? Oh, hey! Yeah! <clears throat> oh, it's you. How did you kids get in here? Oh, this guy! This bitch! <laughs> <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> oh, this guy! Oh, this guy! Well, he was more like a prince, really. He let us in. Him again. I love this Emma face, that's really good. <laughs> That glimmerous fop, always getting in my way. Anyway, this scene is off limits. Excuse me, we have a letter of request. Hmm, one moment. This Why says she... hit request on it. <laughs> Why is she holding that After... big magnifying glass? After a thorough scientific analysis, this says hit request on it. <laughs> Scientifically speaking. One second. If you're going to investigate this crime scene, you're going to need to drink this. No, oh, no, please. <laughs> I'd recognize that handwriting anywhere. Scientific analysis says this was written by Alita Tiala. Do you have her handwriting style memorized? <laughs> Got it. Memorized. Got it. Thanks. It took you 30 minutes to figure that out? Oh, God. So, what's up with the mannequin there? It's taking the place of the body, preserving the scene of the crime as it was found. The body was pulling the stand? So, you're a defense attorney, are you? Detective Emma Sky, I'm in charge of this crime scene. She doesn't seem that happy about it. She doesn't seem that happy about many things. He said that fully out no, loud. she's jaded. I trust you know how to stay out of the way. I always carry two pairs of handcuffs, just in case. Are you coming on to me? <laughs> <laughs> um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. It's snack time. <laughs> snack time. Oh, God. Yes, yeah, snack time. Okay, video game. You made a sound effect. We get it. Okay, video game. <laughs> okay. We're not making much progress here. Hey, eventually the bag will run out. <laughs> Just she, keep pressing her. She must not be very busy. <sighs> I never seem to get a lucky break. Back after nine years and they won't give me the position I requested. And then I hear he gave up the defense attorney life. He? Who's he? The great I am? An ex-defense attorney? Who the fuck do you think oh, it is? I wonder if it's Marvin Grossberg. 
Probably, yeah. yeah. He did give up the. <laughs> he did give up the to be a life. professional Fortnite player uh, after after his hemorrhoid <laughs> crisis. Yeah, <laughs> he has to Emmer sit down. Crisis, crisis. <laughs> yeah, that's crisis the, on infinite that's, hemorrhoids. That's the new game by the time crisis, folks. Is hemorrhoid <laughs> crisis? It's really good. Um, Detective Sky. Quiet, please. It's snack time. God damn it! They're gonna do this again, aren't they? Three. Bunch, 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 one, bunch, 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 bunch. Okay. We're still not making much progress here. She must not be very busy still. Oh, this is the same stuff. All right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Well. So she doesn't want to talk to us right now. And what are the odds if we click the third one? It's different, though. I mean, come on. I mean, I really, charm, right? I really want to hear that. I really want to hear that munching sound effect again. Uh, okay, yeah, she gonna. It's snack time still. Oh, it's fast now. Ah, super fast munch, 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 munch. Okay. Uh, well, let's look at the crime scene at least, because I bet there's something. At the very least, I want to look at that. Ah, oh, fuck off. Hey there. No messing with the crime scene. <sighs> but we need to investigate. Investigations are to be carried out by professionals, scientifically. She's not going to let us get to the crime scene, is she? Or is she? Hey, Apollo. My very unscientific analysis tells me something here is very suspicious. I think I know what you mean. It's kind of hard not to notice. Better check out what we came here to find, at least. Uh, what did we come here to find? <laughs> the the cart. Oh. I mean. Oh come on. Ow. Oh. oh, I can't skip this oh. though. Okay. Apollo, look that stand. It's an enemy stand user. <laughs> it says El Also, I love how it the says Leon. No! Fuck you, I gotta it do says one one zero three seven. I love how the lantern looks like a guy going like. Aah! I also love that there's just a giant barrel on top that they wrote soup on the side. Soup. Soup. That's the soup barrel. <laughs> and then there's a inside there. That inside that salt. barrel is soup. <laughs> soup, daddies. Come on, come on. <sighs> I've noticed. Well. We've solved the case of the missing stand, at least. Though, the circumstances could stand to be better. Scientifically, that was ass. <laughs> Scientifically, your ass. Is that anything? You wish. <laughs> uh, I'm assuming we go back to Eldoon to tell him we found the stand. No! Oh, Mr. Eldoon. Hello? Uh, looks like he left. And we found his stand and everything. What about our free bowl? Oh, too bad. Looks like we'll have to wait a little longer for that bowl. So sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, what a bummer. Okay. Bummer, dude. Uh, I mean, there's only either Maractus or write anything. Let's do here first. Nope, you're still here. Hi. <laughs> uh, Why, attention you center. Why, in fact, are you oh. still here? Polly. You look as happy as a clam in its shell. For a lawyer, this is it. The place where the battle begins. Ahem. <laughs> <clears throat> you need something? Uh, yes, we're attorneys. I was hoping we could see Mr. Walkie Kataki. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sorry. That guy's got a real dorky name. <laughs> He's in questioning right now. Could take a while. <sighs> Trapped. Oh well, guess we'll have to come back later then. So much for that battle. Okay, never mind. <laughs> Damn, completely baited us. Uh, uh, we haven't gone back to the hospital. Maybe Phoenix has something to say. We did find the thing, yeah. Uh, what are the odds Trucy's going to be like, Oh, darn, Daddy's not here right now. <laughs> we should go somewhere else. <laughs> uh... uh <clears throat> Oh, right, this is also me. <sighs> You're back. Run into some problems. Oh, Polly. Didn't you want to tell Daddy something? Who? Me? No, I, I'm, I'm fine, really. What's this? So is there a problem? No, no, no problem, actually. I, I got a defense request. A defense request? That is a problem. Huh? I've given up the court. I'm not a lawyer anymore. The request was for me! Oh. <laughs> right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? He's doing that on purpose! I know it! Murder! Murder! <laughs> <laughs> so, what about this defense request? It's related to the murder in People Park, actually. Guess what? We found Mr. Eldoon's noodle stand at the scene of the crime. Yeah, they're actually after this case, they're gonna rename it Dead People Park. <laughs> after this case, they're just gonna call it Park. <laughs> <laughs> Did There's you? Gonna know? Be no more people. <laughs> Did you know? That's unusual indeed. Never heard of a noodle stand being used as a murder weapon. Uh. I think the murder weapon was something else. You mean, you don't know what the murder weapon was? That funny detective lady won't let us on the scene. Yeah, okay, he's gonna be like, Emma, stand down. It's cool. What kind of detective wears a lab coat anyway? A lab coat? Hmm. Didn't think she'd be involved with this. You know her? You could say that. The Sky Connection. Someday we'll find it. <laughs> the Sky the Connection. The Sky Connection. <laughs> the scientists, the dreamers, and me. So, you know her, don't you? I've met her on a case. This was about ten years ago. She was still a high school student at the time. Should make her about the same age as me. That's my daddy. He knows all the police types. <laughs> what? Oh, wait. Maybe you know that other guy, too. That other guy? That shining prince on the motorcycle. Prince? <laughs> Mysterious prince. <laughs> Apollo. Tell me about this prince of Trucy's. Indulge a concerned father. He was at the crime scene. He looked just like Mr. Gavin. Hmm. Did he now? You know him? My guess is he's Christoph Gavin's younger brother. His brother? We're acquaintances, after a fashion. Clavier Gavin. Ruck and roll, God incarnate. Clavier, what a lovely name. He's so dreamy. I didn't know Mr. Gavin had a brother. And what was he doing out there? I have a feeling you'll be crossing paths again soon. Now, what was the problem again? Having trouble investigating the crime scene in the park? Yeah. That detective woman won't let us. Go to the office. Under the silk top hat, you'll find a bottle of white powder. <laughs> Emma Sky loves cocaine. I was and, gonna uh, say, yeah, uh, yes, Phoenix, what do you want us to do with that? Try taking this to the detective. 
Also, oh, I... make sure you've been practicing your uh, your uh, your uh, Highland chant. Yeah, yeah. White powder. <laughs> I hope it's not what I think it is. Just it's absolutely okay. Just take it to her. It'll be fine. You'll see. Oh, and tell her I said hi. Okay. Gonna go pick up our cocaine. Go pick up a Marco. Uh, it's under the hats. So this must be the silk top hat Mr. Wright mentioned. Let's take a closer look. Huh? Whoa! Cocaine! Hey. so much coke here! You know what this is, Trucy? I... <laughs> <laughs> I remember finding some in Daddy's dresser when I was little. I thought it was sugar, oh, no. so I licked it. Whoa, he got, Trucy! He got mad at me. This is getting more and more suspicious. That happened after that. <laughs> White powder placed gingerly into pocket. <laughs> Let's go talk to that detective. She sure didn't know what that white powder <laughs> is. And Hopefully she'll be very excited to get it. <laughs> that was funny. Uh, go to Kataki, then we go to park. Hey, why don't you take that? Um, does this ring any bells? Hell yeah, I love Coke. <laughs> <laughs> uh, is that? It couldn't. Where'd you get that? I brought it from the office. You work at the Wright & Co. Law Office, yes? Uh, yeah, sort of. Detective Sky, how do you know my daddy? D -d -d daddy? <laughs> I'm sorry, who did you say you were? Trucy Wright, Phoenix Wright's daughter. What? <laughs> Mr. Wright has a daughter? You seem shocked. It, it is genuinely very funny to see this from her perspective of like, Emma knew him 10 years ago and there was no daughter in the picture. <laughs> that is pretty, that's pretty funny. Well, if you're Mr. Wright's daughter and you're his apprentice, then I'm available to help you in any way I can. Oh, uh, thanks. You can start by not calling me Mr. Wright's apprentice. This powder is used for detecting fingerprints. <laughs> this cocaine is used and, for going up the nose. And, and staying up past 4 a.m. Fingerprints? <laughs> no, I don't think so. Okay, thank you. I guess you might call it a memento. From the first time I spent with Mr. Wright. Or from the time I spent with Mr. Wright. <laughs> Come on! That's the name of a song. <laughs> White Powder White Memories. Powder Memories. <laughs> if you find any evidence with fingerprints on it, please let me know. We'll dust for prints. Well, she's quite the eager beaver all of a sudden. Now will you tell us without snacking? That must be because of the beaver hormones I just took. <laughs> what? The report came in late last night. The body was found much as you see it now. Except it was a real body. But why? Why was a body pulling a noodle stand? If I knew the answer to that, I wouldn't still be here. Well, what was the cause of death? A bullet wound to the temple. So shot by a pistol. Salt, sodium chloride poisoning. <laughs> Too much salt. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! I think I've got a suspect. I got a suspect. A pistol? Not the easiest thing to come by in this day and age. Unless you're a cop. Damn. Or a gangster. Unless you're a cop. Fucking coppers. Incidentally, the victim's name was Paul Maractus. Or Pal Maractus. Oh, okay, yeah. This this is the, the, the joke with Maractus Clinic. It's 
Pal Maractus. Oh, Mal Maractus. Mal Maractus. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Okay. That's yeah. good. That's good. Okay. Yeah. That that works. That works. Yep. Yeah, it's funny. I just received the autopsy report. In fact. Okay. I mean, really? <clears throat> What's up with this case? It's enough to make me want to run off pulling my mysterious noodle stand behind me. <laughs> Not so mysterious, actually. We should tell her, Apollo. After all, we know where the stand came from. A likely story. I didn't come here to play games, you know. Actually... We do know where the noodle stand came from. The noodle stand's owner is Dr. Hickfield. Dr. Hickfield. Send him to jail. <laughs> Send him to jail. Come on. We got him, boys. <laughs> Lock him up and throw away the key. Clavier Gavin. Nah, it's Kyle, dude. Who's the old guy? This is the proprietor of Eldoon's noodles, Mr. Eldoon himself. He's famous in this part of town. Not bad. I guess Mr. Wright picked the right kids for the job. That saved me a lot of work. Thanks. I'm the same age as you. Don't call me kid. What sort of person was the victim anyway? You mean, what did he do? He was a doctor. A doctor? I'm starting to see a connection here. Who, me? I'm just a supervisor for this crime scene. Detective Sky. Hmm. I was out of the country for a while. I came back to be a forensic scientist. Ooh, were you studying abroad? Or two? Nah. No, that was my older <laughs> sister. Lesbians. <laughs> Something like that. I was studying in Europe. Forensic sciences, mind you. <laughs> her being like... <laughs> I, I love, I love her <laughs> spray. It's really good. But when I got back here threw me in criminal affairs. Just like that. Why didn't you just become a forensics expert in Europe? Well, I suppose that was an option, but... I had a lot of favors to repay to people back here. Favors? Wasn't she in high school when she left? What? What's that look for? I was involved in an incident before I left. A DL6 incident? Ah. <laughs> <laughs> but Mr. Wright and his people helped me out. I owed them. Really? I had no idea. She's been out of the country for a while. She probably doesn't know about Mr. Wright's current uh, <clears throat> state of affairs. It would be wild if she didn't know that he was disbarred, though, right? Like, um, she probably no, didn't know, actually. No, no, didn't she say, and he's not in the practice, didn't she say something about him, like, not being in the practice of law anymore? Yeah, I, th uh, yeah. That's what I, I thought she had said, at least. Yeah, I think she knows. Um, could you tell us a bit about the defendant? He's the only son of the Kitaki family, yes? Waki Kitaki. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, every time, every time, gets me. I don't know if he's the boss's son, but he's certainly throwing his weight around. Violently, in the detention center. I see. Why was he arrested in the first place? You are a defense attorney, aren't you? You're not his, by any chance. Uh, actually, yes, I am. Well, 
We have a witness to the moment of the crime. Uh? The witness called the police. They'll be testifying during the trial tomorrow. What? <laughs> Say what? Could you tell us a bit more about the victim? Well, let's see. Apparently he's the physician at a clinic in the area. Quite well off too, from the sound of it. The clinic's name is the Maractus Clinic. Hmm. Maybe that's why the cop car was parked there. What? You've been to the clinic? Yeah. Though, on a related issue, I told the detective about the case of the stolen noodle stand. And the case of the stolen peonies. <laughs> So that means Dr. Maractus stole the stand and pulled it all the way here? That would seem to be the case. But why? Don't ask me! Okay. Alright, let's look around. What's sticking out of the trash over there? Yeah, I do actually. That did catch my eye. There's gotta be a good clue or two around here. You and your trash cans, go ahead, knock yourself out. Has this been a thing yet at this point? Have we looked we at any one trash, can? trash can? Okay. We searched in one trash can. It just makes me think of uh, <laughs> the the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog because they do a running joke about looking for evidence in trash oh, cans. Oh God, that was, a good, that was a good fucking joke. It's a really good joke, yeah. Please, can't you see I'm doing my, huh? Look, another pair of underwear. Penny. Wow. This line. Wow, Apollo. You're a genius at finding panties. Shut the fuck up. Stop saying that. Wait. <laughs> these aren't... Th they're not mine. Well, I know that. <laughs> Could these have been stolen too? Hey, well, we fucking know who they are, video game. Come on. Uh, all right, let's just get a general look at the noodle stand. And this is Mr. L. Dune's noodle stand, obviously. It does say L. Dune in big letters, doesn't it? And that mark on his paper lantern looks familiar. It's going to be a little weird telling him what with the corpse and all. <laughs> Anyway, that wraps up our three cases. Three of our cases. Excuse me. That's right. Congratulations, Apollo. And leaves us with one case that's worse than all three put together. Murder. 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 <laughs> this mannequin is dressed up to look like a police officer. I've seen one at the station. Mannequin in a place of a body. The body of the victim has already been removed. Do you think the victim was the noodle stamp thief? What, do you think someone killed him because he stole it? Yeah, taking care of business. Little plum kataki style. Try not to sound too eager about that, please. Uh, I mean like... Is any of this like extra things? What's the okay. what's the thing that's in front of the stand? It's like sticking out of the ground. No. It's a knife. No. Hey, let me see what you have. A knife. No. No. <laughs> what do you have? <laughs> uh, shiv, to be precise. Emma, did you do time? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, bingo! <laughs> the defendant, Waki Hitaki, is the son of known gangsters. The police are assuming this belongs to him. Wait, but wasn't the murder weapon a pistol? Huh? Th look at this! There's a handprint on the shiv! A handprint? Oh. 
then there might be a fingerprint. Oh, fuck. Let's investigate. Oh, no. Oh, shit. Am I going to have to have the thing ready? Yep. Uh oh. Get ready, Zach. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, baby. Right. First, choose the fingerprints you want to examine. Choose a fingerprint? Look closely at the handle. See? There's more than one fingerprint there. Okay, but like clearly they're all to the same hand. Those black spots? That's right. Pick the one you want to analyze. Let's take the big one. Right. Let's get detecting. Wow. She's practically glowing with excitement. First, sprinkle some aluminum powder over the print. Just touch the screen like this. See? The oil left by the print absorbs the aluminum powder, so you just dust it on and blow it off. You know, like a normal person. <laughs> but blow? Like the slang for cocaine? <laughs> yeah, like like you it. like you do with cocaine? Like we're doing blow? It's like whistling. You know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your lips together and Wow, they oh. actually was, was that that exact line from a movie? <laughs> Wait, what? Isn't that a movie? You know how to whistle, don't you? Just put your lips together and blow. That's a famous movie line, right? Oh, is it? I think you're right. Uh, what's that from? Somebody let us know. <clears throat> wow. Amazing. It's like magic. <laughs> Isn't it, though? Right. Let's give it a shot. Incidentally, it's important that you cover the entire fingerprint with the powder. Yeah, baby, here we go. Uh, <laughs> I definitely don't have this set up, so we're gonna uh, <laughs> emulation settings. Oh God, how do I do this? <laughs> how did I do this before? Really quick, microphone. Before settings. you do anything, before uh -huh. you do anything, save state it just in good. case for some reason. Something. A good call. Very good something call. Happens. Uh, yeah. Microphone settings. Use a connected microphone. <laughs> Baba jigga ba -ba -bo -ba -bo. No, okay. Uh, well, you're not. Well, you're not doing it right, Zach. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. There's gotta be a way to activate the microphone. Well, we did it last time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got to figure out how to do it. <laughs> just got to remember how to do it. Hotkey. Microphone. Okay. Let's make a microphone Y, as in why would I ever have to do this in a normal video game? Gabo G, gabo go bo go bo Okay, it didn't work. Boggity 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 bo. Microphone settings again. Bockity pockety bockety rock. Um, Walk a flock of flame. Boom, 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 jigga, ba, yeah! <sighs> Good, clear, quite impressive. Next, to match the print. Uh, whose finger this print belongs to? Hmm, that doesn't sound like as much fun as actually finding the print. I actually think it's just as fun, if not more fun. Okay, pick the person whose print you think this is. You probably have a good idea whose knife this is already. I mean... Thank yes. you, Maria Mountain. It's uh, also... Well, thank you for the donation, and uh, the, the line is from Born Bacall in Do Have and Have Not. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh... That's where that line is from. Yes! Isn't it amazing? Ah, the power of science. It's my life. Fucking nerd. Apollo! She's a I'm fucking not... nerd! <laughs> She's a vampire? <laughs> She's a vampire. And I'm oh, dealing. And I'm a jock. <laughs> no, you're a werewolf. <laughs> Look sharp. Spirits up. The real fight is yet to come. Chin up, Polly. 
trial hasn't even started and I'm already losing. Okay. So, have you met the defendant? Uh, uh, no. Visiting hours are almost over at the detention center. You might think about wrapping up here and heading over. Good idea. I don't know what good it will do. We have it a witness and a knife with the prince. If I mention I've got a bad feeling about this... <laughs> I've got a bad, bad feeling, feeling about this. Don't worry. It's like a right tradition. Some traditions I can live without. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> All right, let's go talk to our boy. It's boy time. Everybody knows it's boy time. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Are we ready? To meet the boy. And you know, here, Zach, uh, go ahead go ahead, and just start. I'm going to run to the bathroom really quick since I'm not going to be in this scene for just a hot second because I think Trucy and, uh, and Phoenix talk for a second. Are, are, you, sure, are you sure about that? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be right back. Okay. I don't know what he's doing, chat. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Wes! Instantly is a West line. <laughs> Wes! <laughs> I'm sorry. The meeting hours for the day are all done. But but we still have three minutes! I'll put in your request, but don't expect anything. The father's talking in the private room with him. The father? <laughs> you mean like a priest? Yes, with the son and the Holy Spirit. I mean the suspect's father, Mr. Winfred Big Winds Kitaki himself. It's such a good nickname. <laughs> it's such a good nickname. Winfred Big Winds. <laughs> I'm going to duck on this whole Not family. Not someone I care to meet. Die, you. You're the one on your way out, old. Ah, <laughs> uh, they're here. <laughs> Sounds a bit Jesus ass Christ! Jesus! Oh. Now that's a Yakuza character. Yeah, for real. No, that's Marlon Brando from the goddamn Godfather. <laughs> <laughs> Like seriously, Wes, go stuff cotton yeah. balls in your cheeks so you can do what I'm Brando ready. did. I mean, Jesus. <laughs> That's absolutely just Doc Corleone from The Godfather with a yeah. headband and a frankly amazing apron. <laughs> That's honestly the thing that movie needed more than anything mm. was that apron. Yeah, put, put that would have made Godfather an actual classic. <laughs> Whoa, this guy radiates power. Power with a cute apron? You walk his lawyer. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, could you say that more directly to the mic? It was really quiet. I just want to make sure we yeah, get yeah. it. You walk his lawyer? Yes, sir! Well, I'm Big Wayne's Kitaki, fourth head of the Kitaki family. Gabish? Gabish? Uh, actually, I Gabish. came to speak to your son. Mr. Justice. Yes? <clears throat> My son's innocent. He killed no one. If he was found guilty... The day of my daughter's wedding. It wouldn't be good. Gabish? Yes! I'm, I'm all about Capiche! Capiche so loud and clear! <laughs> you gotta do more than just understand to make it. You'll learn that. <laughs> it's officially the best character. <laughs> <laughs> Even if the lesson comes at the end of your short life. I don't feel so good. What's the big idea, old man? 
You, you can't treat me like a kid no more! Not now! Whoa, Mitzi, did that come from you? Oh my cat? gosh, the cat! A talking cat? Incredible. What? Wow! Where did that voice come from? Mitzi, you're incredible! Oh shit, it's almost like there was a four. <laughs> Fuck you, Chris, you piece of shit! <laughs> <laughs> That's marketing, motherfucker! <laughs> hey, kids! Oh, shit, he got us, folks. Uh, hey, you might have noticed we did a guess- we, we did a thing where we asked- we polled the community about doing guest voices. And this is our first choice at a guest voice. It's Chris doing walkie talkie Get fucking hyped. <laughs> I think we should have Wes do the voice, first of all. <laughs> nah. It's too late now, baby. This this train has left the station. Hey, Chet's Jeff, popping off for it, so fuck yeah. Wow. Uh, all right, would you like to give me this line one more time? As yeah, we now we have our professional yeah, sure. goon from the Yakuza series. Oh, I know how to goon, I know how to goon all right. Uh, <laughs> you can't treat me like a kid no more, not now. You know, I... I... I wanted to go to the clink! Uh, I like it here! You... must be walkie. Jesus. <laughs> wow, how- <laughs> Well, that response almost ain't even over. This, this line has <laughs> aged like fine wine, are you kidding me? <laughs> He's not a key till he does hard time! Bizoy! <laughs> First off, Bazoi. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? Secondly, a G's not a G till he does hard time. Tell that to Andrew fucking Tate, the top G! What? <laughs> Known food hater. Known food <laughs> hater, Andrew Known Tate. Known food hater! Bazoi! <laughs> Bazoi! That's my new catchphrase! Is that, is that what they call I it in it Young out. Sheldon? No, I will say that's, that's very good. I will say huge waste time for me not have Bazoi pop up like objection. <laughs> Bazoi! <laughs> I guess the trial hasn't happened yet. It can still happen. <laughs> You'll see. When I get out of here, things will change. Silence. Also, I I didn't know Brando was in your repertoire. Uh, Wes, that's, that's incredible. Good. <laughs> My apologies, Mr. Justice. He's usually such a nice boy. <laughs> what is this animation? Walkie is an alpha male. He is an alpha male. Look at him. Just Sigma grind set. <laughs> yeah, it looks like, yeah, he's about to come through your ass. Forgive me if I have a hard time believing that. Ha! You can't take me into your wing this time, old man. You heard me? I don't need no trial. I did it! This is a very cool concept for a case, by the way. Mm -hmm. I think that's enough for the day, Mr. Justice. Don't let me down tomorrow. <sighs> so much for talking to our client. But we made so much progress today. <laughs> God damn it, video game. We even found my panties. I had fun at least. True Sam, let's way, forget that plot line. By the way, the, the, I, I was sitting, the cocaine bit and the panties bit, trying not to like cover here to laugh was difficult. I'm so and, glad you did it. Yeah, I was just like, oh my god, this is incredible. <laughs> of course, the biggest mystery of all remains. Who am I supposed to build a case for the trial? Oh, almost forgot. It's time for my show. Oh my Tonight, God. I'm performing at the Wonder Bar. You should come check it out. The Wonder Bar, that's such a good name. Wonder Bar. That was from last week, too. I forgot. <laughs> I, made the, I made the joke that it's absolutely a gay All bar. right, Chris. Thanks to for coming. To be continued. Right, I yep. guess I'll see you next Chris, time. Save so the data! This character's not coming <laughs> back. It's fine. Speaking of saving the data, uh, you can check this out on youtube.com slash save data team. It's it. got Pridge and Zach and anime. You guys like that? Does it have anime? <laughs> save oh, it's so the bio. Sorry, I thought it was saving throw. That's what oh, you do. Sorry, Zach, I have multiple. <laughs> he has multiple yes, two cards. Third. Wow, you actually drew the Sly Cooper fucking... <laughs> when's Sly Cooper? When's Ace Attorney and the Thievius Raccoonus? It's not. <laughs> that's, that's a pretty good Sly Cooper. Yeah, you did a good I mean, job logo? on that one. 
on the screen. I wasn't doing it for memory. Yeah. Also, I love how. Right I mean, now, still, even Jay. just not for memory, it's still good. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, I don't dog. know what. I don't know how you paused it to just have J J J. J. Um, <laughs> if we are between things, I do have a surprise for the Ace Attorney boys. Uh, sure. This oh, this is this yeah. is probably where I'd cut the episode. Yeah, this is the so, best. Yeah. This is the best time. Oh, so this would be the next episode. Or yeah, the end yeah. of this episode, either yeah, one. Yeah. Great, because I have a bar exam question for you. Are you fucking kidding me?